Nestling in the mountains in the heart of East Africa, Rwanda's forests, lakes and wildlife attracted visitors from all over the world. Once famous for its mountain gorillas and spectacular scenery, now Rwanda is remembered as the scene of one of the most brutal massacres in recent history. In 1994, up to 1.2 million people were killed. That's more than the population of Birmingham. The world community did little to stop the genocide, the attempt by people of one ethnic group to wipe out another, and the deep mental wounds that are still felt today. Rwanda borders Uganda, Tanzania, Burundi and the Democratic Republic of Congo. It's the size of Wales, but it's home to more than 8 million people. There are three ethnic groups in Rwanda. The Hutu, the Tutsi and the Twa. At one time they were all united, sharing the same language and customs. However, during the 20th century in particular, tensions developed between the Hutus and the Tutsis. In 1899, Rwanda was colonised by Germany. After the First World War, the country came under Belgian control. The Belgians introduced identity cards which identified people by their ethnic groups. Traditionally, the Tutsis had received better education than the Hutus, and the king was a Tutsi. However, marriages took place between Hutus and Tutsis, and people could improve their social position. The new identity cards made this more difficult. Opposition between classes of different geographical and racial origin developed. Hutu opposition grew particularly strong in the 1950s, and in 1959 the Tutsi king was overthrown. Many Tutsis fled the country. Deepening divisions between the two peoples came to a head in 1994, when Rwanda's Hutu president was assassinated. Although it was not clear who was responsible, it was used as an excuse to start a massacre of Tutsi people and Hutu moderates, for which the president had in fact been preparing for some time. Radio broadcast encouraged the Hutu population to slaughter Tutsi men, women and children. Thousands of Tutsis fled the country. The killing only stopped when the Tutsi-led Rwandan Patriotic Army took control of the country. At this time, around 2 million Hutus fled the country in fear of revenge. However, some then used the refugee camps as a base to attack Rwanda. In response, the Rwandan government supported the liberation of Zaire, now known as the Democratic Republic of Congo and forced hundreds of thousands of Tutsi refugees to return to Rwanda. Ten years later, it is estimated that two million people have died in the massacres and what followed. The media may have turned their spotlight from Rwanda, but the desperate need for peace remains.